Well, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Thank each and every one of y'all for clicking on the video. It looks like it's a nice, beautiful day, and it is a nice, beautiful day. It didn't start out that way. Our day started out a little while. About 5.55, we started getting notifications to take immediate shelter. And um, I woke up with the, the uh, trailer kind of rocking, and I heard the thunder and stuff. So I, I was going to record the trailer actually rocking, and uh, all of a sudden, Steph's phone went off. Uh, tornado take, warning. Tornado warning. Take immediate shelter for your area. And boy, howdy, let me tell you, we got up. I think that's the fastest the kids have got out of bed in a long time, especially Addison. Addison's usually the slow one to get up and around. We, so we said tornado. Boy, she was up and she was ready to go. Um, so we got all the kids. We got in the vehicle. We went up to the road to Marie's. A tornado warning has been issued for your location. Hey, come on. Yeah. Hey, yo, kids, get up. Hey, get up. We're in a tornado warning. Come on. Right, it's here. Oh. Hey, get the car. Hurry up. Let's go, guys. Let's go get in the car. Go get in the car. Hey, Addison. Come on. Get up. We're in a tornado warning. There's a tornado coming. Ouch, ouch. Oh, yummy, yummy. Throw that in the very back. Mm. <coughs> 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 Hello. Wait, what are you doing? Wait. That means they have to cancel our field trip. They might reschedule it now. Alert has arrived. guys so we got a good morning wake up call with a tornado in uh -huh. december right here um it's about six o'clock when the tornado went off so we ran up to uh marie's she fixing the i never i've never been in a safe room but this is a safe room <laughs> never knew it but what do you do just put yeah so this is a bar and it slides uh -huh. so just put it right here and lock your door. This is a steel door. Like it's a safe room. This is all cement blocks. And oh, wow. it's been inspected by two structural engineers because our house did get hit by a tornado. It did get hit. Yeah. So it's made it through that. And so so we're, good. we're not as nervous right now because it's yeah. about ten minutes away. Um, it's crossing I thirty five. There was a tornado that uh, touched down in Henny Pen just uh, probably about ten fifteen minutes ago. So we're waiting, but. Hopefully all the animals are good. We'll see after it passes. So follow her out. Yeah. Yeah. We should probably clean out okay. our storm room. Yeah. <laughs> I chose photo. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Andrew, 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 Andrew. Nervous grin. All right, guys. So we just got out of the shelter. Um, Steph's running up to the house to try to get the kids ready for school. Um, we got lucky. There was a tornado that touched down probably about five six miles south southwest west of us um not not for sure how bad it was it just seemed where it said there was a debris but um i don't know that's a that's a scary deal um you know in town we didn't really worry about it so much because we was in town and we had a shelter there but where we live now we live in tornado alley like every time a tornado's come through our, our play or our county it's actually took this path so it was a little intense this morning a little scary um i was just recording because the the camper was shaking this morning that's what woke me up and then that you know it said the tornado warning and um that was really scared was y'all scared kids no no 
No. Huh? No. You wasn't? You was just crying, Brayley? I, I was kind of freaked out because someone was tapping me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you, Layton? I wasn't scared, really. Kason? Not me. Not you? Kason said, don't wake me up. I don't care, tornado. Yeah. Kason don't like to, like to wake up in the mornings, but... Um, yeah, we had to do something, uh, but luckily, I'll find the, find the, I'll find yeah. The All right, guys, Daddy's gonna go in here and start editing videos, and y'all have a wonderful day at school. Okay. All right, love y'all. We come back home later. And they got a safe room, and we stayed up there and let everything pass. Thank God, no tornado actually hit. But we, if we was in town, I wouldn't have been so nervous. But out here where we live is actually Tornado Alley. And I got a little bit of footage. I will show you here in just a second. But today we got some special, special guests coming down. And um, they was here earlier this year and helped us out tremendously. Um, if you have an idea, be honest, be honest now. Um, you have to be honest with yourself. Who it's going to be, leave it down in the comment box um we can't wait but we are starting the tiny cabin today uh, working on the inside so that ought to narrow it down a little bit um i've only had a few people out here so it won't be hard but um anyways we have become friends um with these guys for the uh, probably the last four or five months mm -hmm. and um they have we've become really good friends they are great people and uh, I can't really go too much. I'm going to give it away. I think but you already did. I probably did. But yes, um, I, see, I want to tell y'all, but I can't. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to hold it until they get here. Um, but anyways, uh, we, that, may be them. that may be them. We was walking up here to take a look at the pond. Look at the pond, guys. We have got water in the pond. A lot of a water. A lot of water. So it is holding water now. That is amazing. Look at Carly over there. And that is super deep. Um, that's about as full it w w as it was la uh, when we moved out here. Yeah, I think so. But, yeah, that's awesome. So, Hi, what you doing, girl. Carly girl? Hi, Carly girl. Come here. She's a good girl. Come here. So the for, for the ones that are new to the channel, everybody's going to say Carly looks like she got a hurt leg. Carly was born without an ankle. It's basically um, fused together. It doesn't move. Um, we've been to a few vets. I'm going to take her to one more vet um, here locally and get the final uh, opinion. And then um, hopefully they will let me record so they can actually explain everything um, because we want to give her the best life. We're so thankful for Cassie and Gary for uh, allowing us to have this dog. Um, she has very, been very, very, uh, become very, very close to our family. She's so loving. And when it's not muddy, I will get in there. She will actually hop up and start giving me a hug. Yeah, so. she's a very hands-on dog. So when it's muddy, you don't go around her. Yeah. But um, huh. anyways... Steph's got quite a few uh, videos and video footage of uh, the dogs and the animals. It actually posts today. So um, if y'all haven't checked out Steph's channel, definitely go over there and check it out. The Life. Life on the Eddie Family Farm. That's right. Life on the Eddie Family Farm. So, and y'all can hear Max back over there. He is barking. Um, he hears my voice but this is the most he's barked in a long time. Yeah, we're super excited. We're just waiting for our guests to arrive. And once they arrive, we're gonna have some fun. All right, guys, so our special guest is here. Do y'all recognize him? What's I've been going here on? <laughs> well, hopefully I everybody- you know. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully you was, uh, everybody in the comments that left a comment, hopefully you did it right and you guessed who it was. I gave enough of, um, I gave enough of hints who is gonna be. Yeah, but, I saw some, well, I was on your live, is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. scrolling through, I was like, I think Crandall's coming, I think Crandall's coming. Like, oh, yeah, yep. a lot of people already know. <laughs> they already know. I'm not good with those, like, hiding things from y'all, because we always want to keep it real. But um, I reached out to Crandall because, for one, this is the kind of stuff he does, 
and we got a lot of things to figure out in the cabin and um, some of it I don't know but I know he does uh, he come down and helped us with the building put the roof on and uh, that was amazing so we're, we're gonna get some work done on the tiny house yes yes get so, in a bedroom yeah yeah get Laundry him a bedroom room. he's excited and uh, give him his own as he calls it my own pad oh my gosh yeah. that's hilarious <laughs> i want my own pad uh now casey's going around saying i want my own house so i'm like one day you're gonna have a house <laughs> <laughs> but um anyway so let's go in here and show him what we got in mind and see what he thinks and see if we can get some things done today all right guys so we got crandall inside and i'm going to kind of explain to him what's what what's going where and if he have has any suggestions because he's done this stuff before um, so over here on this end we're actually putting uh layton's bedroom okay um, we put the tape and stuff down just to try to give us an image um, of how much room we got but this is like a doorway probably yeah a doorway and then um here we was going to put a ice box and a freezer. Okay. Um, then on the other end over here is Steph was wanting to put um, a washer and dryer room. So basically a wall here, washer, dryer, and then like a folding table right here. Okay. But after talking to you last night, you know, maybe um, you had an idea of possibly, you know, try to get a bathroom and a shower here and maybe you know, fold down table. Yeah, just, yeah, because we could do like, a, they have like basically it's a three foot by three foot shower. Uh -huh. So it would come, <clears throat> it'd be like this big, right? This corner here. And then you can stick your toilet here. And then if you had your washer and dryer, instead of turn that way, maybe facing this way. Uh -huh. So the front of it's here, washer, dryer. And then uh, your door would be somewhere in the middle here. And then, yeah, you can do like a folding table or, uh, Probably a folding table is easiest. Or, you know, we can even make one where we go buy a car table right. from Home Depot uh -huh. and we put hinges on it, screw it to the wall, and it just fold down. Fold down. Yeah. That's cool. So, like I said, I knew, I know that you, you used to build houses and stuff, so I knew that if anyone knew, it would be you. So, well, we can give it a try. We'll see, uh, yeah. see if we can make, make something that is really functional. And then over here, we ran out of tape, but um, last. We want to try to put a sink over here okay. and something kind of like a counter more. Um, and then hopefully if there's enough room, we can actually get a stove in there. We're adding, oh. adding things that we never it thought It just of. keeps getting bigger yeah. and bigger. So <laughs> hopefully we can get that in there. If not, we'll find um, that they make another deal where you can sit on a bar and it's like a, a stove. Oh, well. like a cook, cooktop? Yeah. Cook so not an oven, but a cooktop. Yeah, yeah okay. just a cooktop. Um, because you know we have a small oven in the RV, but it's just there's just no room. Yeah, I mean, everything is so small inside there. But um, yeah, so I'm excited yeah. about this, you guys. I love like the creative aspect of building and like the problem solving and being like, okay, this is this big, this is this big. How can we make it fit? You know, how can we put this in here? So I love that you've got all of these ideas and stuff like that to where we can just be like, let's run with it, right. let's lay it out, let's see if we can get it to work and. You know, that's the fun thing with these tiny houses too, is like the ideas are endless, right? And right. we just have to kind of adapt to the size, but you know, try to make something big, do some storage up in the roof if we wanted to do right. that or you know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's what we're hoping. And like I said, when you come down and helped us with our other shed, it was awesome. I mean, I, I was real, really lost on the roof and he helped us out and, um, you had just started your well you've been doing youtube for a while but we just got back from the youtube creator yeah in, and um from there he just started growing so I've been growing like crazy that's right <laughs> so if you have not went over and watched crandall's uh videos him and marcy just had their babies just had twin boys you guys twin boys harvey. paxton and harvey and um yeah, so if you want to follow some twin boys, most definitely go over. Uh, you can't forget about Maverick. Oh, yeah, yeah Maverick. Uh, it, it's weird. We've got three boys that are two years old, so it, it's like. Right, it's weird how the new babies come and the other ones kind of forget for a couple of weeks. That's right. But <laughs> they get all the attention. But uh, yeah, most definitely go over, subscribe to um, Crandall's channel. Uh, we'll leave a link down in the description box. We greatly appreciate it. I know with him coming down and helping us has tremendously made things a lot better and a lot easier. And not only if he, there's times that I just call him on questions and, and he helps me out. So most definitely go check him out and tell him 
Eddie Family Farm sent you. Thanks, guys. It's actually got a pin in it. Yeah, or a lot of times they'll use, do you have like, a, I mean that piece of cardboard on the floor there or whatever that is? Um, a lot of times they will uh, add basically a, like a foam, a foam piece and that uh -huh. keeps the bugs out but it still can breathe. Okay. It's got something. Yeah, it's got something. And now that you say foam piece, I've seen a foam piece somewhere sticking out. Okay. I've seen so that's somewhere. probably what it is. Yeah. And the same, yeah, so the same thing would be for So they did, okay. Up. And that, and you was talking about that for the shower, because it's going because to... Because, yeah, we need a way for it to breathe. Okay. And for the, if the humidity and the hot and the cold to go in. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so if we do that, if we just build, if we build all these walls and get them put up, then um, are you spray foaming the interior or just the exterior? I think uh, probably going to... I haven't made Don't do the interior. Because... I mean, like, obviously, do all of the walls that are standing out and sealing out, but the walls that we put up, there's no point in insulating them because it's open up here. Okay. We were going all the way to the top because the insulation, one, is sound and it's also heat, which doesn't really matter as much in the house. It's mostly for sound. So you're talking about the. the yeah, for that wall, okay. in case of their uh, latent wall, it's not, there's no point for sound. Because it's they're already, already in. in. Yeah. But, yeah, and it's open up above, so yeah. it's not going to stop anything. So that would just be a waste of money. So yeah, you'll just want to do the exterior walls on the roof. Yeah, okay. So save you 100 bucks, 200 bucks out loud. <laughs> because we are going to get these cords all strung out. That way we got a little bit of power over here. Um, I'm attach everything real quick. We had tons of extension cords left over from Christmas. And we are here the build. Do what? All of these windows uh, let in some water. Really? Yeah. That ain't good. They didn't um, necessarily do it the right way. Typically, you add like a rubber seal, oh. like a like a 16th inch rubber sticker basically that goes around right uh -huh. here at the bottom. So water that does come in then hits it and goes out. They didn't add that on any of these windows. Um, Would it be easy to... We'd have to rip out the entire window from the outside, put that in and then put the windows back in. What do you think, spray foam? So that's what they did. Or they, they used some sort of glue adhesive right there. Uh -huh. um, that runs right here. Okay. So we'll just move it like this, do this way so that we have a solid board to screw into. That goes 36. So I think we do a 32 inch door and then a 36 inch door for the laundry room so you can actually get the laundry room washing machine in and out. About 32 should be plenty here. So what we'll do is we're going to build the wall mm -hmm. on the floor, leaning that way, and then we'll build the whole thing, and then we'll literally just tip it out into place. So let's go ahead and we'll lay out. We need ooh, how long are those two by fours? You don't have any longer. Mm -hmm. uh, So Randall said I need eight, 86 and a half. Like um, we're going to go over here, we're going to build it on the floor. It's kind of like we did the, the shop building. And once we get the wall built, we'll stand it up and then we'll nail it into the wall and we'll kind of go from there. So I um, don't have uh, some 12 footers. So we're doing, trying to get by with what we can without going to the store. But if we have to, my lovely wife, Stephanie, as you'll know, we'll, uh, we'll go to town and get them.
Crandall showed me this trick. <laughs> Set it up and cut them all. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, we'll need a bunch for that other wall, too. Yeah. Yeah. Did you still, okay. You need another seven inch. Another wall down there. You need another seven inch. Um, yeah, we can. We don't technically need it because we're doubling up up here. So remember, when you built that shed. We were talking about the double top plate. Right. You can see in here. So we're doing the same thing here. Um, and that's going to be that overlap there. So, okay. uh, no problem. We're all right.
still have to add the top piece on the door though, but we can do that. What um, size was that? Oh, we can do that. Yeah, we can do that once we set it up. Give it up. It's going to be a little high from the bowl there, but... I think it was on the outside of the window. And we have just one of those old school white right, hold that white washer and dryer. Okay. I think I wanna say they're I should know this. I just did our washer, but oh that's the other side. <laughs> yeah, the it Okay. Need a screwdriver. So, obviously, we got both walls up now. It didn't take no time at all. Just, I know, that uh, was easy. That was, that was awesome. That's the funnest part is, is framing. You know, when you have to start doing sheetrock and butting and right. taping and all that, it's just like, oh, it's awful. But and it's kind of goes. Once yeah. you get a rhythm, just cut, cut, cut. Go, go, so. go. Wow. And have a laundry room and everything in no time. What do you think? Hey, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, we changed up the laundry room a little bit, but yeah, we have the bedroom right here. 
This is, yeah, this is Layton's room. I this was that, the door be up there. No, the door's over yeah. here. Now, how, how am I going to get the door this big? That's that's the standard door sizes. Yeah, we'll have to find an actual door that fits this size though. And then this over here, we're gonna change up a little bit since we're gonna eventually turn it into a tiny home. You can push pause. And um, look, the washer and dryer is gonna go over here now. And we'll probably have a small table right here. And we're gonna put a corner shower and a toilet right there. So yeah, have your own toilet. All right guys, we completed both walls. It didn't take very long. Um, we, I think we visit more than it oh, took. We talked way more than it <laughs> <we> worked. <laughs> hey, I like that kind of stuff, but um, yeah, we're, um, we're kind of at a standstill right now because I don't have any more lumber. I uh, didn't realize we was going to go through this much, but um, Crandall's getting ready to go head back home. But we want to go ahead and close the video out. If you don't know Crandall, uh, if you haven't ever watched any of his videos, most definitely go over there and uh, check them out and subscribe to their channel. Give them a chance. And um, we want to thank you for coming over. And hey, no problem. You're going to have to film Layton's reaction when he comes home and sees his bedroom. Oh, he's going you know, to be really, really <laughs> excited. So um, anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up from here. And we'll see you on the next video. See you guys.